This is Tall and Manly, my hardcore Iron Man that is aiming to get every single piece of the best gear in RuneScape. In the last episode, we succeeded to do something that almost no one has ever done before, a successful 200 kill streak at Telos on a hardcore Iron Man without dying. But unfortunately, despite the massive accomplishment, we didn't get the drop I was after, which is the Saren Godbow. So at some point, I'm gonna have to go back. The next thing I want to work towards my best in slot range setup is the strongest crossbow and the strongest special attack in the entire game, which is the Eldritch Crossbow. And in order to get one of those, we're gonna have to get three separate Eldritch Crossbow pieces from the third Elite Dungeon. This is one of the longest, hardest grinds in the game, and it could take close to 100 hours to complete. And that's assuming I don't make a single mistake and die along the way. But it should be extremely beneficial for us, because not only is my dungeoneering level pretty lacking, and that's gonna be a great source of experience, but it's also one of my favorite dungeons in the game. I absolutely love this place, and this is actually something that I've never done before on an Iron Man account. I've yet to go and get an Eldritch Crossbow across all of my accounts and all my series, so it's time to change that today. But in order to move forward, we need to go back because I actually started my Elite Dungeon 3 grind months ago in secret. You'll see pretty soon why this first bit never made it into a video. Well, good luck, guys. I, I'm a little worried about this part, but let's, uh, let's do it. This is the spookiest part. I missed one. Okay, well, that's awkward. Whew. See, I do feel like this part's kind of hard. And we're done. Whoo, okay. First day heavy kill in the books. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful on this grind. I'm really gonna have to be careful. It's dangerous, man. I got an elite chest from before, okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa! That was crazy! Dude, they absolutely cooked me. Whoa, wait! Bug abuse! I life transfer without losing any life points. I got Blackstone Hearts, nice! That's my first BSH drop. That is level 83 Dungeoneering and a Terrigan PR as well, 127. Yeah, dude, if I could get 99 Dungeoneering from going really, really dry on an Eldritch piece, that'd be big for the account. 55 Blackstone Hearts? Wait, I got 19 Blackstone Hearts from that. Okay, that's ridiculously good. Ah! As I was saying, all right, coffee. That is 84 dumping earring. Let's freaking go, dude. We're cruising. Let's look here. 105 Blackstone Hearts, 152 mil in the chest. Dude, we're gonna have like a one bill chest here going for this crossbow. I'm cooking. Sub three, come on. Three flat, are you kidding me? That's still PR though. Hey, I'll take a PR. Wait, I just got six Blackstone Hearts from Terrakit. And they said Terrakit had no drops. Six more Blackstone Hearts? What is going on? Dude, Terrakit heard everybody talk about how he doesn't have any drops and was like, uh, he's dropping more loot than Ambi is. That is a little 89 strength off my Hellhound. What an absolute animal. I think we've actually done a full level just from the Hellhound. My Hellhound, no! Survive! Helen, don't leave me, Helen! Stay with me! <sighs> I saved him. It was an Eldritch piece of clock. Blackstone arrow tips that I can't fletch or equip a clock. <clears throat> ah! What? All right, let's try that again. Who signed off on this idea? We are 60 runs deep and I still don't have my first Eldritch crossbow piece. And my Twitch chat is ready to stage a mutiny because nothing eventful has happened in the last 20 hours. To try to appease them for the next 20 runs, every time I don't get an Eldritch Crossbow piece, I'm gonna be giving them GP. So at least one of us is gonna be making some money from Elite Dungeon 3, and it's probably not gonna be me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That is level 87 dumpineering, no longer my lowest skill. Any droppers? Dude, 400 Black Dragonhide is not what I need. Going all the way back to the Christmas event, well before we went to Telos, and well before the present day, one other really important thing happened. Which is that upon opening up all my gifts, I didn't get a die or a hat, but I did get the Woodland Ranger outfit, which is absolutely perfect for this next phase of the series. Because we're looking to upgrade to best in slot range, why don't we also upgrade our fashionscape at this point, and we're gonna keep this thing on for the foreseeable future. Okay, you know what? This was worth it. I gambled and I won. All right, here we go, team. The final ED3 run of the day. Any Eldritch pieces? Bro, this place hates me. 
Okay guys, we've been at Elite Dungeon 3 all week and I've got nothing to show for it. This happened on my main account, it happened on my last Iron Man account, and I can't believe for the third account in a row, it's happening again. I'm just so tired and fed up of going dry at this place. And considering we need to get the Saren Godbow anyway, I am thinking of giving up on Elite Dungeon 3 for now, going to Telos, trying to get my Saren Godbow, and then if I'm feeling like it, we'll come back after that. I just cannot bring myself to go back to this place anymore. I'm just so fed up and I don't want to give up on my goal, but I absolutely need a break. So let's go on a bit of a side quest and come back later on when I'm feeling it. Before we embark on a side quest at Telos to get the other extremely powerful ranged weapon in the game, why don't we upgrade our security online with a word from this video's sponsor, NordVPN. A VPN or virtual private network is a service that gives you safe and private access to the internet. By encrypting your connection, a VPN hides your IP and online activity, which keeps your data safe. On top of the safety benefits, you can also use NordVPN to access area-restricted content. When you connect to a NordVPN server in a specific country, you appear as if you're accessing the internet from that country. There are servers all around the world, so next time there's a show that you want to watch and it isn't available where you are, NordVPN might be the answer. But Nord is more than just the fastest VPN in the world. They're a one-stop shop for online security and privacy. The threat protection dashboard is really cool and does a bunch of different things. Most notably, if you're downloading a file, Threat Protection can check it for malware. And if you're clicking a link, Threat Protection can block it if it leads to a malicious website. And if you're someone who's also tired of dealing with pop-up ads, Threat Protection can block those out too. If you use my link, which is nordvpn.com slash rsguy, you can get all NordVPN has to offer for less than four bucks a month. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks again to Nord for sponsoring this video. Now, we've got a side quest to get back to. What is this loot? So I guess if I get an SCB, I need to keep going until I get an orb too, right? Because I need one more orb. Yeah, still. Looking, looking okay. Whoa, PR? But only by one second? That's rough. Did I win? Nope. That's not an orb. That's not an orb. But yeah, so at 174 in rage right now on this streak count, I'm guessing I probably have the same drop chances like, I don't know. 300 something in rage and yeah these kills get way easier at 200 in rage just because the phasing hp gets consistent whoa 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 whoa! did i cancel my death skulls i think i did i don't know what's happening ever who cares when you die tell us that when the clue arc will start honestly hoping no clue arc that's not a saren god bow oh <gasps> i think that's an orb i think that might be a corrupt orb please yes let's go okay sweet so now all we need is the Saren God Bow, and then we can actually make it to. That's my second orb set complete. Beautiful. Good little loot. And I'm here to get a Saren God. Nope. All right, that's an 100 kill streak. No STB for me. Keep it going. 10 Onyxes. Perfect. Did I win? Nope. Did I win? Nope. Did I win? It's annoying, isn't it? But I did everything I needed. Hopefully everything works out. Thank you. I hope so too. <gasps> yes! We did it! Come on, we're actually free. I'm free. Oh my god, get in. I saw the GP value. I knew. I knew. Come on, dude. We did it. 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 Ranger Ryan is inbound. Come on, it's done. We're actually done, Telos. I don't need reprisal. We are done. The most dangerous part of this hard crime, man, is complete. Okay, because we got the orb too. Hello? Hello? Where's my Saren Godbow? Wait, what? Oh my god. I didn't have bank space. Imagine it went on the floor and I teleported. That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Create Saren Godbow. It's absolutely done. It is finished. It is complete. Get rid of the Woodland Archer bow. I don't need you anymore. Let's go. And just like that, we've got an absolutely beautiful Saren God Bow. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, and ever since the Elder God Arrow update, it isn't just a special attack weapon. If I want to start ranging some bosses later on down the line, this thing absolutely slaps as an actual main weapon that you equip, which is really cool. So for right now, the Saren God Bow is our new best in slot range weapon. After our Telos related dopamine injection, I think I'm ready to go back to Elite Dungeon 3. So let's get our snorkel on and keep grinding. I'm feeling like we're gonna get that first piece soon. I don't know what it is, but I think that break was a really good idea because I'm completely reinvigorated and I'm ready to grind. Um, that is level 88 Dungeoneering coming in though. Not a bad little level to get. Any Eldritch pieces? <gasps> yes, dude! 
finally, after 97 runs, we've got our first crossbow piece. Only in RuneScape do you grind a boss for 40 hours to end up with one third of a weapon. But still, a piece is a piece and we've got two left to go. Ranger arc is coming along, Saren Godbow yesterday, Eldritch piece today. Dude, no back to back. Hate to say it, but I think the dry streak has begun. Okay, do I have an overload? This is the literal last dose of overload I own. The final dose of overload for Ambi Solo number 100. Let's go. Let me just say, I am a great hard grinder, man. We're just on top of it, man. We do everything. That is Ambi Kill number 100 and a nice little personal best. We take those. Not bad. Absolutely light work. Okay, so total chest now is at 511 mil in just common drops. Woo, don't die. What the, 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 the. <laughs> Okay, that was bad. There was a near perishment. All right, any Eldritch pieces? Bang. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we got the pet. I can trade that in, right? I can trade that in for, for an Eldritch piece, right? Could we say that we earned it? Sorry. Um, cool. Nice. I saw the broadcast and I really, I thought it was, you know, an Eldritch piece, you know, the thing that I need, but, uh, yeah, done. Ambi has been locked and loaded. That is level 89. Dumbaneering coming in. Nice little level coming in. Hey, soon we're going to be able to kill Calgarian demons without bug abuse. I mean, um, clever use of game mechanics. <laughs> it's flanking time. That was crazy. All right, let's get this done. Bang. It didn't work. Bro, that was the worst ambi kill, I think, in history. I ate, like, all my food. All right, team, starting today off with a 589 million GP comments chest. Let's get it. Bang. PR? Seven second PR, 243. Y'all ready for the forbidden rotation? Bang. Flanking one. Flanking two. Flanking three. Flanking four. Flanking five. And he's dead. Ooh, Reaper assignment done. 400 black dragon hide? Bro, what is this? Normal mode carapac kill? Ooh, look at us, a PR. One, 16.8. All righty. Yeah, the invigorating perk is so good. It's actually like we've PR'd all three bosses today after switching our perks. Holy crap. What? What? Oh, ha. Wait, I almost died there. I was guzzling food. I was getting comboed. Okay. Baited me a little bit. Uh, that is level 90. Dumbaneering coming in, which means uh, we can finally access uh, Calgarian Demons, which is like really, really important because without 90 Dungeoneering, uh, we wouldn't be able to access Calgarian Demons, obviously. That just like wouldn't be a thing we'd be able to do. <laughs> Sorry, this is evidence of a crime. I want you to know no game mechanics were cleverly used. <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god. I ring a life. Oops. We've crossed 700 mil in the chest, by the way. Just in common drops. Okay. Hit him with the that. Hit him with the that. Hit him with the that. Get under. Spam flanking. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. My reaver died! And I also got absolutely nothing. I got an Onyx. Little 15k action. <laughs> Another 15k action. <laughs> Wait, give me one more. One more in me. Bang. 16. Bro. <laughs> okay, I think I should be on a Cal. Maybe I should be on a Grim too. Maybe I need a Cal and a Grim for this boss. <sighs> PR? Nice! One game tick PR. See, the Grimoire was worth it. I think I get a dungeoning level here. Ready? Bang. That is level 91 dungeoneering coming in without actually ever doing any dungeoneering either. That's the best part. Call that a Damon Hive skip. I'm feeling good about this kill. Ready? Yes! Yes, let's go, dude! Let's freaking go! 160 runs in, and we're two thirds of the way to a completed Eldritch Crossbow. If we can keep up this pace, I see the end in sight, but I still need to be careful because Elite Dungeon 3 is very dangerous. And in these last few runs, I've started to make some mistakes. If I get the crossbow, but I lose a life en route to it, that's not gonna feel like a win at all. So let's focus up and let's get this thing done. One singular piece remains. 
826 mil chest, two Eldritch crossbow pieces in the bank. That's one, that's two. I've got the mechanism, I've got the limb. All right, any Eldritch piece completers? Bang. Okay, gonna be a no. We are also on 167 kills, which means I've done 166 solos. So we are officially, well, as of last run, over the drop rate for three pieces. You wanted a sweaty kill? That is the record of the world. As long as you don't know how to check the PVM record sheet. Just trust me, bro. Ain't nobody vanquished the snake faster than that. Cause the old school equivalent of... What the Teleport. Ah! How did it not die? Get out! Leave me alone! What? Ain't no way! You're telling me I can get the Dungeoneering pet, but I can't get an Eldritch Crossbow. Dude, we're on a great pace right now. Yeah, we're actually doing a full run every 13 and a half minutes. That I can be very happy with. Oh my god, I've had my flanking lantern on this whole kill. Oops. All right, well, whatever. Flanking. Dude, 18k from... Fl That's insane. <laughs> Thanks, flanking. <laughs> Thank you for being fair and balanced with this boss. Just 18k, 17k, boss is dead. Love that I didn't black hole skip. Dude, this whole kill has been an absolute disaster. What the crap? <laughs> Teleport. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got the TP, we're fine. I got the TP. Dude, did I not click on it though? So when this black hole absolutely exploded on my hardcore Iron Man, I thought that there was something wrong with the game or some kind of bug because I stunned the boss. But it turns out I made a very slight mistake. I have a lantern with the flanking four perk on it, and I use it both towards the end of the fight when I'm spam clicking underneath the boss, and I also use it for the spinners, but I accidentally left it equipped after the end of the spinner phase. And you'd think that probably shouldn't matter, because flanking only makes your stuns no longer stun if you're standing directly behind your target. But unfortunately, every single object in RuneScape has a front and a back, they're just not clearly indicated. So because of the positioning of this black hole, the game viewed it as me being behind it. And because of that, when I used my soul strike, it didn't stun at all. Instead, it did a tiny amount of damage to the completely irrelevant HP bar, and then the black hole proceeded to deal all of my life points in damage. So that's a very important note to self, we need to be really, really careful here with our flanking, because I have two identical lanterns, and one of them is going to work for this, and the other one isn't. This would easily be a top 10 most embarrassing ways to lose a hard cry Iron Man, so I need to be really careful from here on out. Make a new shipment of rings of life, and back to the dungeon. That is level 92 dungeoneering, halfway to 99, has yet to actually do a dungeon. We love elite fungeons. 2.6 full tokens, I know, I'm literally gonna get 99 Dungeoneering off of a singular dry streak. That is the most RS guy thing to do. I think this is probably the last day that I'm completely a beardless streamer. And then we'll be good to go. All right, first run, any Eldritch pieces in chat? Bang. Dude, 96 salvage is kind of crazy. But that is my 200th Ambi solo. We go again. Wait, Demon Slayer Glo What? Allow me to pick those up really quick. <laughs> Dude, I can get every rare thing except for the rare thing that we're currently going for. Dude, Terra Care with Necro is so much fun. Wait, that was a PR. 115. Wait, he's an animal. All right, let's go. Bang. It's time. This one's for the believers. Here we go. Yes! Oh my god! For the believers! Yes, let's go! Done! Eldritch crossbow done! For the believers! Rise up! Yes, dude, get in! Let's freaking go, dude! Let's freaking go! <laughs> Boom! We also got the ED3 title. I am now the Shadow Thief and 2.8 million Dungeoneering tokens. Let's go. Are we ready? Say goodbye to the Elder Crossbow stock, the limb, and the mechanism. Our final kill count at Ambi. 204 solo runs done to get one singular crossbow done and dusted. And that is an Eldritch crossbow. Dude, that's so sick. But yeah, so now I've got a Saren Godbow and an Eldritch crossbow, which is absolutely huge for the Ranger arc. Wait, it, are you kidding me? The invisible crossbow bug is still a thing? It's been like that for like four years. I thought they fixed it. I just grinded a month for an invisible weapon? 
And just like that, for the first time ever, I've got a brand new Eldritch Crossbow on an Iron Man account, and we did it all ourselves. I am so incredibly excited about this, and this is one of, if not the single most powerful special attack weapon in the entire game. It's absolutely fundamental to dealing absolutely godlike amounts of damage with ranged, so I'm very stoked. But unfortunately, in order to use the Eldritch Crossbow, you have to destroy the Eldritch Crossbow. So why don't we speedrun 50 fortunate components, make an essence of finality, and then I'm gonna be sacrificing my brand new Eldritch Crossbow that we just grinded for like 100 hours for into an amulet. All right, team, 54 easies, six hards. I guess we'll start with the easies. Let's go. And remember, we need 34 fortunates. We are on 41. Okay, so I'm missing nine forts. Game? That's one, that's two, and that's done. It is that easy. What, four or five, where was this like hours ago? What is going on? Got a speed boost to the next one. And that is a beautiful essence of finality. The reason I have to sacrifice my Eldritch Crossway into an amulet is because when the ECB initially came out, there was no precedent for high tier weapons to have special attacks. And one of the ways to limit the power level of this weapon was to make sure that you can't unequip it in any way or switch weapons without losing the special attack effect. But I don't want to be wielding this Eldritch Crossbow, because crossbows are pretty weak right now. I want to be using my Saren Godbow, but I also want to be able to have the Eldritch Crossbow effect. So the way to get around that is to sacrifice the crossbow into an amulet. In one... God. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this one hurts a little bit. To put that amount of time into getting this bow and then immediately yeeting it, but it's for the good of the account, and in this state, at least we can actually use it. So now, with our brand new Eldritch Crossbow in hand, kind of, it's time to look forward, because I want to get full best in slot range on this account, and we've got some upgrades missing. For starters, I need to go to Zamorak, the Lord of Chaos, in order to get the Greater Death Swiftness ability from a Codex of Lost Knowledge. And in addition to that, of course, we need to get the most powerful ranged weapon in the entire game, which is the Bow of the Last Guardian. After that, we're gonna have to go back to Angel of Death to get myself a ranged Praisal Codex, and then it's gonna be Vorkath and Elite Dungeon 1 to get myself the best armor in the game. And at that point, if we can get through all of those hurdles and all of those bosses without dying, I will have best in thought range. So look forward to our continued progress in the next episode. He's not the chattiest.